Hey guys, what's going on? Um, so I'm really interested and excited to bring this uh, next game clip for you. Hopefully this is going out to uh, the Huppet Gaming Community uh, channel. I, uh, I did this video together and I wanted uh, to see if I could submit it to get myself a broader audience. Um, if you're new to me, then hey, welcome. Um, come and check out my channel and I'm sure you'll, you'll enjoy some of the stuff I do. And you know, thanks a lot to the guys for giving me the chance to put it out here. Um, and yeah, I'll jump right in basically. So I'm, I'm rushing on derail and I'm actually gonna take this chance to do a little bit of an update for my subscribers and try and bring in a few more um, by posting on the channel. So, you know, obviously I'm running, rushing, silent, uh, sound whoring that guy, heard him clear as day, and, uh, and got him. So this gameplay is going to be sort of a game of two halves. The beginning part, I'm going to talk a little bit more about my gameplay and what I was thinking. And the second half, I'm going to talk a little bit more about my channel, what you can expect from me, and the three different types of gameplay and, and what you'll see from me in terms of commentary. So first of all, I want to highlight this, um, this sniper here. When I kill him here, he should have made a shout out to his teammates. I got killed by such and such a person doing this. That's a good call out because it lets your team know what's going on around you. Now, of course, the sniper that I killed with a grenade should have just turned to his right and killed me, so he's certainly not a rocket scientist either. But it's good to be paying attention for those moments when, when you die, let other people on your team know because it'll help us turn around and shoot the kid or shoot through the wall and get a wall bang or, or engage in, in, a, in a smarter way where we, we know where the enemy are. So, you know, obviously I'm kind of doing the same thing I'm sure you've seen a million other people do where, you know, keep moving, keep on your feet, turn and keep, keep you know, your head on a pivot basically and uh, rush into the enemy spawn using, you know, circuitous routes, move around the map constantly. Um, and, and that's kind of what you're seeing me doing. Keep the cover, pay attention, uh, look out for the sniper and get really, really lucky when you take out two snipers in a row. Um, at this point, I kind of felt like I was in this enemy spawn, and I thought, I'm going to sit back a second. And I just got lucky and caught this kid, too. So I'm going to pause it here for a second. That door is red. It's dangerous. I'm running back out into the enemy spawn here, and I hadn't reloaded my clip, and I had a silenced weapon. Not a good choice. So, you know, in, in, in 2020 hindsight, of course, I shouldn't have run through that door, and I should have uh, reloaded my clip before I did, let the sniper come by me. But, you know, what are you going to do? You, you make choices, and you live with them. So I'm rushing back into their spawn here because I'm, I'm under the impression they're just not going to be paying attention. I'm leaving my pay Predator just for a minute because I think I can let my Harrier do a little bit of work. And then when I need it, I'll bring out the, the Predator uh, in a minute or two and we'll, we'll see how that goes for me. Um, so we're coming up here and you're seeing the guys trying to take down my Harrier. Now, those who know where I am, I've got a silenced weapon. I've, I've lost my edge. So let's throw a grenade over there. Here's another mistake. Red is danger, green is good. I shouldn't have come out and turned left. I should have gone right, because then I could have flanked these two. They knew where I was. They were pulling out their secondaries immediately, which happened to be you know, double barrel shotguns. Well done them. And uh, you know, no big surprise that, that they took me out there. Um, so they took down my Harrier, and I figured it's time to you know, pull out the Predator and, and get going with that. And um, you know, I'm just going to do my thing again. And, and of course, I jump into a little bit of lag here. So. It only lasts for that good two or three seconds, which was, you know, phenomenal. I, I don't think I've ever seen lag only last that amount of time. Um, and, and then I keep running and, and try and, you know, get around the back of them. So I'm getting to the point here where I'm going to start shutting up in a second um, after this next rush and uh, give, get you through a little bit more of, uh, you know, what you can expect from my um, channel and, you know, the way I go about the content I bring out to people. So. I look at it in three different ways. First of all, I syndicate out to a bunch of different channels, not just YouTube. I look at, wait, wait, I had to stop for that. How awesome was that blind fire? That was great. Um, I, I look at it as I can get video views on Meta Cafe and I can get them on Ebound's World and Video Jug and all these other video sites. And YouTube is, is one of many sites that people pay attention to. So you'll see shorter form video um, out on those sites. And that's kind of the, you know, maybe minute long clips that I do. So. Back to the gameplay just for a second. In that moment, I had thrown the grenade and I have them, I'm aiming downside at both of them. I definitely got lucky there, and I'm not saying that wasn't luck, but to sort of quote the movie Titanic, a real man makes his own luck. And, and if, if you get lucky in a situation where you're throwing a grenade at one person and you happen to take the other out with your ump and everything goes your way, you're manufacturing situations where, where you're doing well because you know, you're reading the situation right. And, and I realized that that could have not gone my way as well, but I got lucky and I kind of made my own luck. So going back to the different types of content I wanted to talk about, I've covered the first one, which is 45 seconds, um, to a minute type content. And the second one really is about um, 
my thoughts, my thoughts on the gameplay. So I, I try and let you know what I was thinking as I was doing. Um, a lot of the time I try and play with a Huppet team and I'll let you know that we were communicating or we were talking or you know I saw my role in this particular way and I was letting people know this. Um, and that's, that's kind of uh, the type of content that you can see from me. You'll, if, if you go back and look through a few of my videos, then you get the idea of, of I'm trying to tell a story to you of what I was thinking as the game was, was being played. And that's um, you know, one of the ways I think that people enjoy um, what I'm putting out there. Now, the second one, and I haven't done this much yet, is to try and talk about myself a little bit because, I don't know, maybe you guys are interested in that. And you know, obviously everyone thinks their own life is pretty interesting, so I figured I'd give you a shout. Um, I just going to run you through a little bit of my history here. So I'm 31 years old. I'm, uh, I'm a guy that I, I work in advertising in New York City. And um, I'm half Swedish and I'm half American. I grew up in England, as weird as that sounds, and I was born in Hawaii. So um, yeah, did you write all that down? There's going to be a test later. Um, let me see if I can sort of break this down into pieces for you. I was born in Hawaii to parents who worked in the airline industry. So my parents have traveled all over everywhere. My mom's Swedish and my dad's American. We moved to Seattle very shortly after um, they, uh, they had me, and my brother was born. So now there's two of us, and my parents are traveling around the world for a living. It's not working too well because they never get to see us or each other. So they moved to London, and we basically spent the next 21 years out in, just outside of London, outside Heathrow Airport. And uh, that's kind of where I grew up. So a lot of my friends consider me to be American-born and, and British-bred, which means you know, you know, I, I was brought up to be a British person. Um, so I have a lot of affinity for you know soccer teams, football. If if that makes you feel any better, if Sam or uh, Trout or uh, Moody Sweet or or those type of guys. If you ever listen to their commentaries. Um, and then um, after a certain amount of time, I, I kind of got to the point where I wanted to, you know, um, after a, one hilariously bad um, uh, 16th birthday party, which could uh, definitely be a, a whole story, a whole video on its own, um, and a few other stories here and there, I moved out to Hawaii. Um, I moved out to Hawaii when I was about 23, 24, and I, I started my own company. Um, I, uh, if you're interested, I can definitely tell a story about that as well. That's, uh, that was fun. I, we, we did a lot of cool stuff out in Hawaii. And um, it got to a point where I wanted to move on. So uh, my brother lives in New York City with me. He actually lives uh, about six blocks away from me. We both live in the financial district. I, I live um, around uh, just, just, just a few, few blocks up from Wall Street. No, I'm not going to tell you where I live. Um, and I live in a high rise. I live in the 40th floor, so my views are ridiculous. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, I, I work in advertising, so if you've ever seen uh, the, the TV show Mad Men, imagine that, but about 45 years later, I guess, that's like mid-60s and, and we're 2010 now, so yeah, it's, it's pretty much that industry, but 45 years later. So what my question for you guys is, is A, do you like the sort of the verbal thoughts and, and the way I talk through, you know, what I was thinking as a gameplay goes on and, and that type of style that I've been bringing to you? And if so, let me know. Shoot me a comment. If you're interested in hearing a little bit more about me and if you think I'm interesting, um, then uh, by all means let me know. I certainly will shut up about it. By the way, look at this predator fail. God, that was horrible. I just could not find anyone. Anyway, if you think I'm interesting, which I can't imagine for a second why, but if for some reason you know that's interesting to you, give me a shout and let me know between the three different stories that I brought up there, which was, I have one hell of a story about my 16th birthday party. Uh, literally, there were helicopters, police helicopters circling our house. I think that might be kind of interesting. Uh, the second one is um, the, uh, the business in Hawaii. I started a business in Hawaii. Let me know, and I can bring that to you. And the third one is uh, my life in New York City right now and advertising in New York City. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Come over and check out my channel and, uh, and take it easy. And if, uh, if you liked it, give me a comment, uh, give me a rating, and uh, you know, sub me up. I'll talk to you soon, guys. Take it easy.